In this video, we will discuss about the clipping mask. Clipping mask in the Photoshop, in the Adobe Illustrator, in the Premiere and in the After Effects. We will discuss about it. So let's get it started. First of all, I have actually a Photoshop software. So I'm going to drop my file, import my file, which is, uh, which is Beach. Right, so I'm just going to make clipping mask with the beach. So I have the background layer which is unlocked by double clicking. And after that, I'm just going to create one layer and just give the gradient just for the just for the background and nothing at all. I'm just going to select the gray color, light gray, and I guess this is pretty good. Fine, I have the background and I have uh, the beach file as well. So just going to text beach. Good. I um, need to change uh, the font, just impact and then decrease the size. Some more as well, some more. Yeah, that's perfect. So I have the beach and I'm just going to press Alt key from this layer hold all you can find this kind of a arrow so click it but it is not work it does not work what is the main reason behind of this yeah i am trying but it's not working the reason is that first of all you just need to rasterize the layer maybe i have written the beach so i'm just going to rasterize the layer from text to objects still I'm trying to do so it will not work the reason behind this you will have to take the picture on the top and your object have to be on the downside I'm trying myself so just deselect and change the position okay now I'm trying to do this press alt and click this is the best thing you can find in the clipping mask. Uh, so you can easily see, I'm just going to double click clear and then give the drop shadow or maybe you can create the drop shadows and uh, something like this. You can give the stroke as well. Decrease the size of the stroke. So now you can see the beach. The picture of beach is inside of the beach font. Is called a clipping mask but not necessary that we need to clipping mask with the font I'm just going to delete this and I'm going to take the new layer and draw an any object any object maybe let's try to find out I guess uh, this one no 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 uh, I think that one yes I'll just draw it and uh, just take the pen tool right click make selection so just press enter you can find the selection is here so I'm just going to take the bucket and fill the color in it deselect this object good like uh, if you deselect this so selection will be disappear the same thing I'm going to do, press Alt and click, click. So you can find your beach fig picture is inside of your object, which is called the clipping mask. You can apply with the both with the text or with the object as well. Now the time is for the illustrator. How to do clipping mask in the Adobe Illustrator. Just the same thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to drop by image and trying to adjust the canvas so just write the font which is s e a c i just need to maximize the size of the font or something like change the font area or impact anything you want bold and just decrease the size increase the size sorry now I have displaced this 
So in the clipping, clipping mask in the illustrator is quite simple. You just need to stack the both object and press control 7. So it is easily work. It will easily work. Otherwise, you just need to find out the options, real options. So you just need to stack both of them and go to the object clipping mask and make clipping mask here with the control 7. The short is inside as well. So you can easily find out the clipping mask. Same thing, same thing you can do with this, with the object, you just need to make an object, select and go to the clipping mask, so you can find the object. It is easily mask in the object as well and font as well. So. I'm just trying to create another object like this. Select both of them and go to the object, clipping mask and select. Easily, easily you can do this, which is not the big deal. So the next turn, which is Photoshop, you have seen this and in the Illustrator you have seen this, the turn is Premiere. Right now we are in the Adobe Premiere. Normally we use photos, but this time I'm going to use video because uh, Premiere is a software of video editing and audio editing as well. Somehow audio editing, but video editing is the best. Just I'm going to stack the layer. Maybe extra part, I don't want the extra part, so I'm just deleting and like this I guess this footage is enough for me at least I can do whatever I can so let's make this yeah I have this footage and I'm just going to go to the file new and title by the help of title you can find a little Photoshop in the premiere so just give the name and okay so I just keep the name of my maybe channel name like uh, Bomb Blast or Game Animax or anything you want. Suppose I'm going to give the gun Bomb Blast. Just uh, adjust the position, adjust the font, or maybe you can adjust the size. I have just uh, trying to take impact font, which is the bold font and heavy font. Just uh, trying to adjust the size in the center. I guess this is enough so close this title you can find in the source file there's a bomb blast is written already I'm just going to control C and control V duplicate one for the text and the second one for the object this one will be the footer text so I'm just going to drop the text in the video too and you can find there's a bomb blast written on the video so what we'll have to do I just need to go to the effect gallery and trying to find from M A T mat. So you just find track mat in the kind option. The last one track mat. Just drop to the video file. Not this file, just video file. Just drop this. Fine. So you can find in your effect control, you will find this track mat. Just go to the mat and select your video which is in video 2 you can see there's a video 2 so video 2 is selected and now you can find your clipping mask in the Adobe Premiere which is uh, looking actually good in the form so the next turn is trying to create the shape so again you can get the title shape name and okay so you will find the photo mini photoshop as well just uh, move your time marker from here yeah and just trying to make a simple shape something like this or uh, make another one this adjusters 
now I have adjusted this like properly okay another one good 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 maybe a little bit little bit uh, yeah that's okay now so the last one part is here I'm just going to flip or rotate you can easily do this all right just close this you can find the shape in your source file just drop to the drop here and the same process you will do you will first uh, in the effect control just try to scale this just to adjust on the video and then the same process go to the effect gallery and select the same same effect and drop to the video file and the same thing matte click your video too and you will find this well that's pretty cool so the next turn is adobe after effect the final software we are doing the clipping mask which i have already done but i'm just going to revise this so bring the new composition and find out your video this video so just need to split this so go to the edit and split layer delete the extra part so same thing i'm going to do here it is something like this till now same process edit split layer and split your layer then delete the extra part press n for your selection i'm just going to write the font which is the name of my channel is skim and emacs Good. Just adjust, adjust this font according to the composition, and the same process we are going to do. So it is uh, select the layer, go to your this palette, and select alpha matte. Now, that's great. You can easily find this. It's pretty cool in the clipping mask in the Adobe After Effects. We have seen the clipping mask in, uh, in the Adobe Adobe After Effects. Also, something like this, and uh, we have seen it in the Adobe Premiere in the objects or tags or as well Adobe Illustrator and in the photoshop so if you really like this video so please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon so i can give you more tutorials about this thank you so much